Welcome to another episode of our quick 5-minute tutorials for those who are always on the go and prefer quick and easy videos instead of long detailed tutorials. In today's episode we will be discussing a crucial topic – how speed affects turning radius and how it makes our motorcycle practically steer itself. By mastering this topic you will be able to confidently go even through the tightest turns on your motorcycle. So, settle in and join us for this quick guide on motorcycle riding. Let's begin! It is super important to understand how your bike's turning radius works. And it's a concept that many new riders just don't get at the beginning. Our turning radius is based on two things – how much our bike leans and how much we turn the handlebars. The more we lean and turn the front wheel, the tighter the turn is. But here is a little twist. The angle of the front wheel also depends on our speed at any given lean angle. At low speeds our handlebars turn a lot, but as we pick up speed they turn less and less until they become almost straight. And that's what we can use to make tight turns. During slow speed exercises really pay attention to how your handlebars react to your speed. As you slow down you'll feel that handlebars turning more into the turn. The slower you go, the more they turn. If you release the clutch a bit and accelerate, they'll straighten out. Once you get the hang of it, making tight turns will become a breeze. Just pull the clutch a little and apply some little pressure to the rear brake. And the handlebars will automatically turn more, making your turn tighter. It's easy, just let your bike do the work for you. Some might wonder, why bother with all this speed and clutch control when you can just turn the handlebars and be done with it? Well, the thing is, if you turn your handlebars without adjusting your speed, your bike will stand up due to the counter-steering effect. Remember, you need to both turn the handlebars and lean your bike to make a tight turn. If you only turn the wheel without leaning, your bike will just go straight which defeats the purpose of turning in the first place. So, when it comes to making tight turns, it's best to adjust our turning radius by changing our speed. If we want a tighter turn, we pull in the clutch, apply the rear brake and slow down. Our bike will automatically make a tighter turn. And if we need to make a wider turn, we simply release the clutch and rear brake and our bike will go wider. It's a simple technique that can make a big difference in our riding. Great! That was a brief overview of speed and turning radius. If you are interested in improving your riding skills further, make sure to check out my channel for more detailed videos. Additionally, you might want to consider my video courses for both beginner and for advanced riders. These courses provide a structured and step-by-step -step approach for self-training, with detailed explanation of each exercise. To complete the courses, all you need is a bike, an empty parking lot and some free time. By investing just a little bit of time, you can become a skilled and confident rider. Thanks for watching, ride safe and have a great day! Bye!